find the vector equation of the line passing through the point 1, 2, 3 and perpendicular to both vector n defined by the components i hat plus k hat and vector m defined by the components minus i hat plus 2j hat plus 4k hat such that t equals 0 corresponds to the first point. All right, so the goal, what are we looking for? We want to find the vector valued equation of the line. So vector r of t is equal to the position vector r naught plus the parameter t times our parallel vector v. So here we go. The first thing that we want to do is choose p naught, which is selected for us here. There's only one point, one, two, three. So we are going to begin by letting p naught be equal to the ordered triplet, one, two, three. And from here, we can define the position vector. So we, of course, know that the position vector r naught is defined as the directed line segment from the origin to point p naught. So doing terminal minus initial, we have 1 minus 0, which is 1, 2 minus 0 is 2, and 3 minus 0 is 3. So here is our position vector. Now, the next thing that we want to do is define the parallel vector. So we need to define or find vector v. Now, we have to be careful here. We have that this line that we're trying to find must be perpendicular to both vectors n and vectors m. So, let's think about these vectors. We have vector n is defined by the components 1, 0, 1, and vector m is defined by the components negative 1, 2, 4. Now, the line needs to be perpendicular to these two. So how can we find a parallel vector that's perpendicular to these two vectors? Well, by definition of the cross product, we know that if we let vector v be defined as the cross product of vector n and vector m, then vector v will be perpendicular to them to both of these vectors, we can say that vector v is normal to the plane containing vector v, m and n. And thus it will be parallel to the line. Woohoo! So here we go. In order to define our parallel vector, we need to compute the cross product. And of course, I am letting my vector v here be defined as vector n cross vector m. But we should also note that letting vector v be equal to the cross product of vector m and n also works. All the options. All right, so here we go. Let's find Let's compute our cross product. So we have vector v, again, is vector n crossed with vector m. So we are setting up that 3 by 3 determinant. We have i hat, j hat, k hat. Vector n has the components 1, 0, 1. And vector m has the components negative 1, 2, 4. So by definition of the cross product, we have... 0 times 4 is 0, minus 2 times 1 is 2, i hat, minus 1 times 4 is 4, minus negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, j hat, plus 1 times 2 is 2, minus 0 times negative 1 is 0, k hat. So this leaves us with the vector negative 2 i hat, and let's be careful here. Negative times a negative gives us a positive value. Just don't forget that negative in front. So this is going to be minus 5j hat plus 2k hat. So therefore, our vector v that is parallel to the line 
but normal to these two vectors is defined by the components negative 2, negative 5, 2. Alrighty, so we have everything that we need to find the line. So here we go, giving ourselves plenty of room. We're ready to find the equation of the line. So we have vector r of t is that position vector r naught plus t times vector v. So our position vector was the vector with the components 1, 2, 3 plus the parameter t multiplied by the parallel vector negative 2, negative 5, positive 2. And we can simplify, again, distributing our parameter through to each component of our parallel vector. We can think about this as the vector negative 2t minus 5t, 2t. And now using vector addition, we can add up those like components. And this leaves us with a beautiful final answer. Our vector valued equation of the line, vector r of t, is equal to 1 minus 2t, 2 minus 5t, 3 plus 2t. And since this is a full line, we can say this is such that t is an element of the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. So this is one possible solution for this line.